Welcome to Heart Basics 6. Okay, uh, today we are actually going to begin to use three fingers. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three. That's how we number them. Um, I have been consulting my Harp Exercises by Deborah Thoreau. I have consulted my Beginner's Harp book by Phyllis Slomovitz. And I have consulted Sylvia Wood's Music Theory and Arrangement Arranging for the Folk Harp techniques for the folk harp. So I think you know by now, I'm going to leave my harp like this for a while because the strings are a little easier to see right here against the black, that my harp is tuned in E flat. We'll get to that in lesson 10. Okay, so this is six. Six and seven, we're going to deal with these three fingers, both hands. So whatever I say that applies to the right hand also applies to the left hand. So my harp is in tuned in E flat. This, what is different, will be that my E string is flat. That's right before the F, right? E string is flat. All of my E strings are. My one below the C, all of my B strings are in B flat, and all of my A strings are in G sharp. Okay? So if you're high up a harp without levers, or you have a lever harp, but it's tuned to C you have, you can consider changing the tuning of your harp. You can always change the tuning of your harp using your harp key and, and tuning up or down. Um, so now I set my levers up to C. So that now when I play them the G sharp becomes A, the B flat becomes B, and the E flat becomes E. Okay, so that's all I've done. That's what the lever changes do. So we're going to use three fingers, consulting these three experts. Things I already know putting my heart back here so that things are a little bit easier to see. Just the strings. We're going to start with the chord. And these fingers are all placed a third apart. That means there's one string that we're on, one string we're missing, and the next string we're on, and then a string we're missing, and then another string we're on. In this case, it's C, E, G. Okay, you need to be able to make all the fingers come off simultaneously. That is the C chord. That's not the C chord. What was that? That was here, up on the, what we would call the E. That's the D. So the shape, remember we've talked about shapes. The fingers are going to keep that position a third apart. One, two, three. 
always a string between them. So now we can take the F, F, A, C, that's the F chord. So if you're reading a lead sheet and you see F, that's what it is. Do you want the three together? You might. This is very common. Same thing with the left hand. Okay? Which chords can you use? According to Sylvia Woods, this should really enable you to be playing all except the B. which would be B diminished. Because you can hear it doesn't sound quite the same if we're in A. That's C again. So that's one thing you want to be able to do, come off all together. And you had just heard me doing something else you want to be able to do. Okay. All of them, all of the experts, are teaching us things that we do now. I want you to, I really would like this to be much more visually close, but I don't think I can really adjust the camera so that anything is any closer. If I come down here, there are exercises. One, two, and then before we play the thumb, we place three one string up from C. And then we place the other two, two and one again. I'm going to stop there because we're getting out of the picture, the, the view frame. The other aspect is coming down. So that, that, those are the two things, the being able to place and play, to be able to go up, to be able to go down. There's another aspect of it, which is called turning around. And here I'm just going to keep playing the C chord. It's called rolled chord. 
rolled chords tend to go up, but there's a good 40% of them, if not 45, that go down. Work, work exactly the same way with the left hand. To move around quickly is the whole secret in doing this. Um, so being able to do that, to be able to without fumbling. I'm fumbling. The harp is not in its normal position. It's awkward for me and I'm needing to actually look at it to see what I'm doing. So here when I'm going up the harp, Just before I am playing my one, I am replacing three. And then I place two and one right afterwards. the same thing. Playing thumb, playing one, playing two, placing one as I play three. Play So those are skills that you really want to acquire and take your time. Believe me, it's the slowness that actually makes the difference. Being able to come up keeping the shape going back down being able to keep the shape going up two instead of just one. So that would be C, E, G, maybe down to F, down to C, being able to jump around the harp, being able to get those things in rolled chords, some of them up? Do you want some of them down? Take your time. Don't try to rush. These are skills that uh, an exercise which Slomovic says that this should continue um, as daily practice So those are things that we work with. Uh, we'll look at uh, how I am using this with some music, but I won't show you the music next time. Have a good time. Keep practicing.